the power of a small thought. So I told you all last week that I had something I was going to share that was going to be game changing for you. And it is about the power of a small thought. And I wanted to share this experience that happened that really helped me to think about this and I hope it does you some good as well. So a few days ago, I was actually doing a meeting and an eyelash got in my eye. And if you've ever had that happen, that thing literally felt like I was going to die from an eyelash being in my eye. So after the meeting, of course, I couldn't do anything about it in the moment because I was in a meeting. But immediately after I went and I tried to rinse it out and I was looking and I mean, I was determined to get this eyelash out of my eye. And why? Because that thing hurt. It was stinging my eye, it was hurting. I could barely even open my eye all the way up because of this eyelash. Eventually, I found the little thing. And when I say little, I mean I could barely see it on the tip of my finger. And that's when it hit me. That eyelash on my finger, I could barely see it. I certainly couldn't even feel it. But in my eye, it was crucial. It was painful. It was uncomfortable. What made the difference? Well, in my eye, in a place that's sensitive and vulnerable, in a place where it did not belong, it made it that much more painful. It was in the wrong place, a place that it, it did not belong. So what is the lesson there? We have thoughts all the time. And sometimes because of our makeup, our background, different things that we've gone through, those little small thoughts will make their way into places that create friction, that create discomfort, that can even create pain. But what do we do? Do you leave it there? Do we leave the eyelash in the eye? Of course not. We get it out. Now that same thought somewhere else, maybe someone else might think it or what have you, doesn't make a difference. But for us, that small thought can cause so much damage. So the encouragement is when you have a thought, when you feel discomfort, when you feel yourself getting enveloped by pain, the first sign of that thought, you wanna get rid of it. You wanna get it out of your eye, so to speak. Because it's in a place that it does not belong and it's only going to cause pain. Remember the eyelash. It's something so little, so delicate, so harmless, so it seems. But when it's in that sensitive space, it can do damage. It can cause discomfort. And if you're not careful, if you're like me, sometimes you have to actually pull over just to make sure you get the thing out of your eye. So th do the same thing when it comes to a thought that comes in your mind. If the thought gets there and you feel the, you, you see the process starting, take quick steps, pull over, do whatever you have to do to get rid of that thought before it can do damage. <laughs>